Sonic Unleashed is one of the few Sonic games not available on PC. The game is still currently stuck on 7th generation hardware. And while the Sonic fanbase is infamous for many things, the Sonic fanbase is also famous for having a crack team of engineers, and some of the most devoted and most passionate fans out there. And today we're going to talk about one of those fan projects, a full-on PC decompilation port of Sonic Unleashed. It's a straight up unofficial PC port with PC centric options as well. And yes, it works on Steam Deck, and yes, setting this up on Steam Deck is super easy. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I've made, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high tech low life really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, why don't you check out Off the Console? It's a brand new podcast started by Gardner Bryant, Games Reveal Deny. Sometimes we'll also have guest hosts as well. It's a great time. You should check it out. You can find our podcast wherever podcasts can be found, like Apple Music or Spotify. You can also find our channel on YouTube, and sometimes we host special live episodes. Like very recently, we had a special live episode for the Steam Next Fest. Go check it out. Links in the description down below. This project is helmed by HedgeDev, who's best known for making the mod managers for various Sonic games. They've also made some bespoke tools for translating Xbox 360 game executables to C++, as well as shader data as well, built off of the hard work and research done by the Xenia team. So yes, that's the quick backstory behind this. Now let's talk about how to actually set this up. You won't need very much for this tutorial, but you will need a couple of things that may not be possible to get legally anymore. First and foremost, you'll need a dumped copy of the Xbox 360 version of Sonic Unleashed and its title update. These are non-negotiable, no the PS3 versions don't work, nor do the Wii and PS2 versions. It has to be the Xbox version. And truth be told, this will be difficult to get legally speaking, because you'd have to find a copy of the game, and then find a modded Xbox 360 to dump it to. And of course, I'm assuming you want the DLC as well. It is optional, yes, but if you want the full experience, then you're going to want to get the DLC anyways. Xbox 360 versions. To get started, you'll need to head to the Unleashed Recomp GitHub page. You should see a button that says, check out the latest release here, and then click on that link. And then you'll see the one entry. As of the making of this video, this is currently 1.0. You should see two downloads, one that's marked as Flatpak and one that's marked as the Windows version. Since we're doing this on a Steam Deck, you'll want to download the Flatpak version. Given that this is just the Flatpak, this won't take very long to download. Most of the game size will be from the actual game itself. Once that's done downloading, you'll want to extract the zip file and then double click the Flatpak file. This will launch Discover and then it'll prompt you to add a new repo as well as download the files. If you've set up a root password on your Steam Deck, it'll prompt you to type that in as well. That said, the Steam Deck doesn't come with a root password by default, so I don't know what'll happen if you don't have one. If you need to set up a root password, I would recommend doing so ASAP. It's pretty simple to set up, there are plenty of guides out there. Anyways, after finally installing the program, you'll want to launch it. When you first launch this PC port, it'll prompt you to select a language. You can select one of six different languages, including English. It's recommended that you use your mouse here, which I totally did. It'll prompt you to locate your game and the update as well. Just press add files and locate those files. Typically the game will come in an ISO format, whereas the title update comes in a non-standard format. In my case, I put all of my relevant game files on my desktop because Honestly, once you use them once, you'll never need to use them again. Just locate your files and you should be good to go. The game will know which one's the title update and which one's the actual game itself. After setting both the game and the update up, it'll ask you to set up the DLC as well. This part is optional in case you don't have the DLC, so you would just go through the same process. You would add the files and the PC port would know which DLC corresponds to what. And then once that's done, the game will go through another installation process, taking up about 9 gigs of your storage. But of course, once that's done, you don't need the files anymore. You don't need the ISO, the title updates, or even the DLC anymore. The PC port has already decompiled all of that and added it to its own assets. And you're almost off to the races. The last step you want to do is add this to game mode. You can do this by going to the start menu and then type up Unleashed Recomp and then right clicking it and then press add to Steam. And then you're done. Just go into game mode and you should see it. It'll start with a U most likely. And as you can see here, the game works. There's even a specific option mode for video options that clearly never exist in the 360 version. Things like aspect ratio, motion blur, 
the Xbox 360 tint the game used to have, and all that stuff. Heck, you could even run the game at a faster frame rate, though running at faster than 60 FPS may cause the game to glitch out every now and then, given that the game wasn't designed to be played over 60 FPS. So how is the game? Well, the game plays really smoothly, like it's a buttery 60 FPS, it runs really well on Steam Deck. There's not much more to say. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is one of the few Sonic games I actually haven't played at all. And one of the most exciting aspects of this whole thing is that it's not just Sonic Unleashed. While they made the decompilation tool specifically to help out with Sonic Unleashed, it's not strictly just Sonic Unleashed. In theory, you could do this with any Xbox 360 game. I mean, I'm not sure what Xbox 360 games are even left, but you could do it. There are quite a few Xbox 360 exclusives that are still stuck on the Xbox 360, like Idol Master, or Dodonpachi Sai Daiojo, or Fable 2. It'd be funny if, you know, just porting these Xbox 360 games over to PC somehow picked up more steam than Xenia. So now it's time for the FAQ. Question 1. Where can I get the game title updates? Sorry buddy, I'm not going to help you with that, because I wouldn't be a very good content creator if I told you where to get these pirate copies for the games. These are the things that you're supposed to get yourself, whether by dumping the game yourself from your own copy or perhaps just, I don't know, doing a Google search. Question number 2. How do I move this over to my micro SD card. Unfortunately, there isn't like an easy way to do it. You could theoretically make a sim link or perhaps maybe even use the command line to move things around. But the truth is, there's no simple user friendly way to do it because that's just kind of how flat packs work. Now, from what I understand, flat packs have the ability to install like game data and such outside of its own directory. I mean, the installers for Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail and Zen Zen Zero. All of those special launchers let you install the game on your micro SD card and subsequently run them off your micro SD card. So I think this is just kind of a missed opportunity. So your best bet would be for the developer to just make an update that lets you do just that. They should be able to do it, but they just haven't done it for whatever reason. Maybe it's a bit of an oversight, I'm not sure. This has been a strange turn of events, but it's been a very fruitful and very awesome one at that. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.